So in your kitchen, you have um, there a lot of the things that you're going to be packing are, are probably breakable. And they also are things that, like books, are going to gather weight quickly. So most of the boxes um, that I've... Um, that I would choose to pack things in my kitchen are going to be pretty small. So um, I plan to pack some glasses in this box and um, some, uh, some more glasses and dishes um, in a box about this size. Um, and, um, and also some, some dishes in this size. And um, you know maybe combine packing some dishes in this box with some other things that won't add much weight. Um, maybe some some uh, decorations or um, uh, you know other appliances that aren't going to add a lot of weight or spices that kind of thing. So um, when you wrap when you um, pack your plates, um, you're going to want to wrap it in something. Um, this is just blank newsprint that I um, got from the people who gave me the boxes. Um, so it's used newsprint and. Um, you're going to want to wrap your dishes individually. And then when you place them in the box, um, instead of placing them um, horizontally, you want to place them vertically, which actually gives them a little bit more stability. Um, and... Um, lessens the chance of you ending up with a lot of broken dishes. So place your, your dishes vertically. If you have china, um, you'll also want to wrap your china in a plastic plate to prevent chipping of, the, um, of any gold or anything, any of the detailing on the china. Um, in addition, another good idea for, for packing things, um, for packing dishes, is if you have any cloth bags, you can um, use these to place your plates in and then put them in the box, um, you know, as opposed to using newsprint. Uh, 